Hey everyone, we are in beautiful Strasbourg, France on a side trip from Paris. Today we're going to share with you a few tips that we learned for how to spend a perfect day here in Strasbourg. Okay, the one thing you can't miss when you come to Strasbourg, of course, is the cathedral. Like all great cathedrals, it was built over time. It was completed in the 1400s. It's a masterpiece in Gothic architecture. Definitely worth a visit. It's free to get in, but there are a couple of paid options as well. Yeah, so there's two different things that you can do in the cathedral that are paid. The first is um, for about three euros, you can go and see this amazing astronomical clock. It's about a 30 minute experience for about three euros and you get to see this video that tells you all about the history of the clock and then you get to see the at 1230 the sort of like little animation that happens. You can see the clock without paying for it. You just don't get to experience the animation parts. It's cool, but it's not like a deal breaker. If you, if you miss that, it's okay. The other thing you can do that's totally worth doing is pay eight euros and then walk up to the platform, the viewing platform, which basically takes you to the base of the spire. It's just spectacular. It's 332 steps, so mm. it's quite a ways up there. Um, but from above, you get to also get a really neat view of the spire itself. Um, and it's a really exceptional spire. There's only one bell tower on this cathedral, so it stands out from a lot of the other major cathedrals in Europe. The single spire is, is kind of iconic that really says, hey, that's Strasbourg. After you've done exploring the cathedral and having a look around, maybe going up, coming back down, we recommend just taking some time to stroll and explore the city. It's a beautiful town. It There's is. a lot of really cool architecture here and just sort of quaint buildings to see. Um, one awesome route that we would definitely recommend that you can take is to just take a, a walk down the Grand Rue, mm -hmm. which is one of the main pedestrian streets. Um, there's a lot of bicyclers, there's a lot of cool shops, neat people to check out, places to pop in for chocolates or patisseries. Um, it's just an awesome place to people watch and just sort of stroll around. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you're walking down Grand Rue towards Petit France. Yes. It's a cool little area of town. Um, it used to be a place where there were tanneries and slaughterhouses and stuff, but it's now become a really kind of in vogue. Uh, hip neighborhood and there's some cool things to see here you'd want to see the the covered bridges yep. and then you'd also want to see the dam the Vauban dam you can walk through it and you see some statues inside or you can walk uh, over top which we recommend you get a great view up there and a very cool thing about Strasbourg is there is these canals and rivers all through the town it's a little bit like Amsterdam yeah um, and so by checking out the Petit France area you get a really awesome chance to see all of the beautiful views of those canals to wander over the bridges and just get a chance to kind of just take it all in it's gorgeous around here by the way Petit France got its name from uh, a hospital that was here to treat patients of the French disease what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll cut that out. At this point, you're probably looking for a treat or some coffee. We got a couple of places that we would recommend. Top of the list is Cafe Bretel. Yeah. Cool little coffee shop, great for cappuccinos and lattes. They also have um, some pastries there. Yeah, they have pastries and I think they have some small food selections as well. Yep. Yeah. And, and then if that's uh, not an option for you, uh, you might want to try Fu. Uh, a much bigger cafe and has great seating, uh, not outside, but uh, great windows uh, down onto the river. Um, and our third recommendation for coffee, uh, it's also a good spot where you can grab lunch, is Bloom. Bloom, right. Um, it's adorable, it's very bright and light inside. They have delicious cappuccinos and a lovely selection of breakfast and lunch. So Strasbourg is very much a museum town. There are plenty of museums here, um, way more than you could ever see in one day. Um, so just take your pick. One option is to buy the museum pass. It's 12 euros and it gets you into all the museums for one day. Yeah, it's awesome actually. Yeah, it's a really great price. So even if you go into two museums, you've already uh, saved money. But we decided to go into the Alsatian Museum because we're really fascinated with Alsace, uh, this region which is right on the German border. And so it has a lot of uh, shared history between Germany in France, uh, shared cuisine, or, or their cuisines are influenced by both countries. Mm -hmm. It's really a fascinating region. So we were kind of 
curious about this uh, this museum. Yeah, and the museum is very quaint. It's really, really lovely. It's not at all oppressive. It's a very small museum, so right. it's easy to get through in a short period of time. It's a beautiful building that you just make your way through. There's lots of different objects, um, toys, um, costumes, furniture, all sorts of stuff from um, the Alsatian history. And it's just really, really cool to be able to check it out. The wildlife here is actually pretty fascinating. It's really cool. We've seen uh, ducks, we've seen pigeons, we've seen swans, and just today we saw a muskrat. Yes, we did. Or what we think might have been a muskrat. It could also have been an otter or, or a beaver. beaver. <laughs> we don't know our animals very well. But he was a good swimmer. We should probably go to the zoological museum. <laughs> yes, exactly. So after our museum visit, we decided to just explore the city a little bit more. There's so much to see here. Yeah. Tons outside of the historic area and Petite France. So we made our way all the way down to Place de la République, mm. which is sort of bordered by um, the Palais Rhin and the National Theatre and the University Library. Yes, so it's really beautiful buildings. Very, very beautiful. And a beautiful park. Stately. And then we walked over to where the university is and had a coffee at Café Brent, which nice. is another sort of more um, traditional style coffee house. Very, very cool over there as well. Mm -hmm. It's just a great way to walk around the city and, and see what's happening, see what's going on with the university students. It was really, really cool. It was cool. Another thing we did uh, very briefly is we popped into a Lutheran church, St. Thomas. And what was great about it was we were pretty much the only people in there. Yes. And their organist was practicing, rehearsing. Beautiful. <laughs> so we got our own recital and that was really cool. And then we found out, we had no idea, we found out that Mozart had actually played one of the organs in the church. And that was kind of fascinating. Yeah, it's like this refurbished it's a nice little find. organ that they have in there. It's really cool to check that out. That was sure. cool. You're probably getting hungry now. You want to try some local cuisine, of course. Uh, so we recommend uh, wherever you happen to be, maybe take the river walk. There's beautiful river walks yes. here in the city, uh, back towards Petit France, and uh, try out a really great restaurant called Au Petit Bois Vert. Yes. And you can have a couple of sort of classic, traditional Alsatian dishes. Um, we had the tarte flambe, tarte flambe. Mm -hmm. which is sort of a really, really thin, papery crust pizza style mm -hmm. um, dish with cream on top and onions and bacon essentially is what it was. Um, and we also had more of a salad to go along with it, a Caesar salad. Yeah. It's delish. Delish. Chicken and anchovies. Really yums. Yeah. And there's a lot of different restaurants in this area that you could poke your head into um, yeah. if that one didn't work out for some reason. But. Ab absolutely. And don't forget to try the local wine. The Alsatian mm. wine is really good. We are lovers of white yes. wine and I've, we found the whites here to be fantastic. So if you're anything like us, your night is not over. You're in search of a good cocktail. Yes, absolutely. So we found an absolutely fantabulous uh, cocktail bar. It's called Jeannette. Et les cycles. Elle est, elle est cycle. Jeannette, elle est cycle. See, I can get it. You sure can. They specialize in cocktails, um, mm -hmm. so they have that cocktail vibe. A lot of hipsters, yeah. uh, a lot of mustaches and beards, etc. <laughs> Which are always a good sign. Yes. We tried out their uh, various selections of mojitos. Yeah, I swear they have probably at least 10 or 11 different types of mojitos. Oh, so good. Um, they have a wide variety of spritzes as well. Yes. And then some small plates to share. We had a uh, Knockwurst, uh, which essentially is a Euro wiener. Exactly. As we'd call it back in Canada. And uh, lentil salad, which was so awesome good. and that would pretty much wrap up your day yeah and that's a pretty darn good day <laughs> if you have more time there are other museums more walking lots to do lots to see the people here are super friendly yeah just a great visit great town yeah i've been totally blown away by strasbourg it's amazing here well that's it for this video thank you so much for joining us if you have any other ideas for wonderful things to do here in strasbourg please let us know in the comments below we'd love to hear them thanks so much au revoir